Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Sunday Morning Coffee with Bridget. This is a podcast style series of audios to help inspire your spirit and so that we can stay connected during this time. So I was listening to my Sunday Morning Coffee series about noise. Oh, yes. Might surprise you. I actually listen back so that I can hear my own (laughs) wisdom, (laughs) follow my own advice, right? Do as I say (laughs) and as I do, right? And as I was doing that, it really stood out to me that near the end of that audio, I was sharing about ways to shift our thinking and to focus our thoughts on the positive and to create noise with our thoughts that is positive for us. And I used examples. And the examples that I used were action-based. Interesting. Thoughts connected to action. Good thoughts connected to action. So I want to talk about that today. I want to talk about that today. That was a default. That was instantly where I went. And I want to talk about this. The idea that our thoughts create our actions is true, right? I mean, talk talk to any spiritual teacher or life coach. Your thoughts do create your actions. They create the reality that you live in, the way that you look at the world, and then the choices that you make as you move through the world that you are a part of through your reality, through your perception. But the fact that we are action-based is true as a human experience. As, as a human life experience, we reward action, and that's those are the examples I gave. Was like, the example I gave was, oh, you know, feel good have positive thoughts about yourself that help you to feel good about the actions that you've taken. Like your worthiness is because you've made a great, awesome, world famous smoothie or you vacuumed the the floor, for example. And that's not, that's old ways of thinking. That is not the true reality when you step in to the resources that are available to you in the spirit energy of things in spirit when you work with energy and start to understand energy management energy flow whether you're working with it in yoga or you're working with it in meditation or you're working with it by learning about chakras which are by the way energy centers within the body and we realize we start to realize that there's this connection to some greater well, greater resource, greater constantly renewable flowing resource of energy. So the fact that my auto-responded connection was to reward the action, to adjust the thinking, to move into more of a positive space based upon the positive the result of an action, the positive feeling as a result of the action, now we're interjecting feeling into it. But this is what's motivating us. This is natural. This is how the mind works, right? The thought that creates a good feeling that results in an action or the thought that creates the action that results in a good feeling. It's all about controlling ourselves. It really is. It's about controlling ourselves and it's natural. It's a natural human pattern of behaviors. You can study that. That's what psychology is about. The mind over matter. The, this is, there's so much science and information about all of these things. So I'm not going to spend time on this. That's not my jam anyway. But it really stood out to me. I thought, no, 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 no. If we are in a time of change, which we are, which by the way, what did we learn from the other podcast? We always are in a in a time of change. There's always change. We're always changing. Whether we recognize it, are conscious of it or not, we're always changing. We are. You're getting older each day. The seasons are changing. Gradually, gently, slowly, where you might not notice until one day you wake up and your grandson is 15. Or you have been at your same job for five years and you thought, oh, I'm just gonna, this is a starter job for me. I'm gonna stay here for two years and then I'm just gonna take this while I 
can get myself situated until I can get something better right out of college. And it's five years later. The reason I want to come to this place is to share with you that we can change this. We can change this pattern of thoughts and, and value of our thoughts creating our actions and using feeling to give us this, to make it okay that thoughts control our action. It doesn't have to be that way. What we need to do is interject things like awareness. We need to eject, interject things like giving ourselves the opportunity to choose a different way. And this has to happen before you're taking action. It has to happen before that action step. It doesn't help when it happens after, because it's just like, you know, hindsight is 2020. Then you're being the armchair quarterback. So you're probably thinking, well, Bridget, what do I do then? How do I change this? Do I want to change this? This is kind of working for me. Mm -mm. It's not really. Is it really working for you? Because you're missing a piece. So we've got thinking, we've got feeling, we've got action. What about intuition? What about your spirit? What about your inner wisdom, your guidance? This incredible wellspring of information, knowledge, flow. What about this energy part of you? I'm not talking about energy like I just had coffee and now I have energy. I'm talking about energy, a natural state of flow, the energy that you get from the feelings that you're feeling, from the thoughts that you think, from the actions that you take or that you're considering taking. Because you know you think through all the scenarios, all the possible outcomes of whatever action you're going to take. You overthinker, you. Mm -hmm, I know you. I see you over there. I miss overthinker over there. Mr. Analytical, I see you. I see you. Devil's advocate. I'm just looking at all the possibilities here. Mm -hmm, I know. I live with one of those. I know all about that. <laughs> what about all of the information you're missing? all the intangible energy that is here and flowing whether you pay attention to it or not. You can be proactive in connecting with this energy flow, this incredible wealth of knowledge. Yes, I said wealth of knowledge. This is what abundance is, people. If a fourth of you is being ignored, your intuition, body, mind, heart, and soul, if your soul is being ignored, then you're not ever going to be at full capacity. Your best is going to be 75%. Are you okay with that? You know, that's just, that's like a C average for those of you overachievers who think about grades. <laughs> that's 75%. And for some of you, you're like, hey, it's passing. Yeah. You guys are the ones that understand about energy, don't you? You really do. Even if you're not consciously aware of it, you're totally in the flow. You're like, hey, yeah, you're appreciating everything. You're flowing with the natural rhythm of things. Yes. Follow that, tap into that. And how you can do this and how you can create this sort of a, a change or allow the interjection of energy into your thoughts, into your feelings, into to be part of the actions that you take is to let yourself open up to having some experiences energetically, whether that's through a visualization, whether it's through great music, whether it's through exercise like yoga, or maybe it's through a form of meditation like transcendental meditation, which is challenging at first, let me just say, especially for the thinkers, but oh my goodness, if you are committed to taking the action of actually doing it every day, twice a day for 20 minutes, I know it sounds like a lot, transcendental meditation, look it up, TM meditation, look it up. That's the first form of meditation I ever learned as soon as I, air quotes, got psychic. And it was amazing. After about two, two to three weeks, I felt unbelievably peaceful. No matter what I encountered, no matter what stress I was dealing with at work, no matter what I was worrying about with my little kids at the time, I felt at peace with all of it. I was able to make decisions. I, my mind was clear. I was sharp. And I felt connected within. Very valuable tool. Now, some of you are probably saying, I don't have time for that. I have little kids. I'm on a different schedule. I don't have time for that. That's fine. 
That's fine. There are lots of different ways that you can start to engage with energy and introduce it into your normal pattern of living, your normal processes. So this is intuition, by the way. Energy, your soul speaks the language of energy. Your spirit communicates through the energy. And you know this is true because when you have a gut feeling or a strong sense of something, whether it's good or, or repelling or bad, that's energy. That's not a feeling or an emotion, even though it comes across that way sometimes, it comes up from deep within you, from your low belly, and that's the chakra, that's called solar plexus, that's the spirit within you. It's right there, right in the core of your being, right in the core center of you. There's a reason for that. Good geographic location, huh? In the center of everything, your spirit. That information comes up from within you. And you might say it's a gut feeling because you're feeling it. It's the sensation is starting in the gut, in the belly, and then it comes into the chest so that it's so powerful. It picks up momentum so that you take an action or that you get the message. This is energy. This is how energy works. So I really wanted to connect with this so that you could understand that there are other ways, not just our default modes of action, reward, thinking, feeling, doing. There is another part here. There is your soul. There is energy. There is a knowing part of this. A huge, like I said, 25% of you is being ignored. If you consider the mind, the heart, and the body, thinking, feeling, doing, you are missing 25%. You will never be at full capacity unless you can allow yourself to begin to experience the energy of things and to utilize it for your greatest good. Bring it into your life for your greatest good. So this is Bridget. I wanted to make sure that I had this conversation with you. I think it's really important to do that, to understand. And by the way, the way that you're motivated to take action throughout your life or to make decisions in your life, whether it's primarily from your mind, that's where we all start, by the way. Most of my clients are very mind strong. Strong willed would not be the right way to say it. Strong mind or maybe, maybe even stubborn. And it's okay. It's totally okay. It's completely acceptable. That's me. I get it. We're human beings. We're human beings. We're being human right now. We just so happens we have other resources that we're not tapping into and I can help you with that. And that's part of the purpose of our Sunday morning coffee sessions to open you up to other possibilities for you to help enhance the quality of your life, to help you feel more fulfilled and help you be more connected within yourself. It doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to pay to be intuitive. You don't have to pay to utilize the energy flow of things because you naturally have it. It's free. It's abundant. That's what abundance is about. Accessing what you already have available to you. Maximizing the capacity that you have been gifted right here and right now. All right, my friends, this is Bridget. Thank you so much for listening to the Sunday Morning Coffee Podcast. I hope you enjoy it very much. You can find me on social media. I'm on Bridget Inspired. Don't forget to spell Bridget the longest way possible. Bridge and then E-T-T-E, Inspired. I'm on Instagram, Facebook there. You can also find me on Fairy Grasshopper, my YouTube channel where I share vlogging, my psychic life experiences. I also do some channeling there for fun, you know, because I like the psychic medium stuff because that's part of who I am. And also some pep talks. You'll find some pep talks, some interesting intuitive topics and tips there, as well as card readings. For those of you who think that's kind of a fun thing and maybe you're just exploring that whole psychic intuition thing, maybe the energy stuff is new to you, go check out Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube. That's me and I'll see you over there. 
Thanks so much for listening. Have a great day.